Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, this is going to be a quick fix video on the previous generation Honda Goldwing. And this will apply from the earlier Goldwings all the way up to the 2017 Honda Goldwings. But the problem that I've been running into is that if you have the original seat bolts on your, your seat, it's not an issue. It's not a problem, but let's say you want to add bungee assist to put a cargo net on your seat. So you take your, your bungee assist, which goes through the grab rail like so. And you're going to do the same to the other side of the grab rail. And now you can put your bungee assist It will basically mount like this, and that way you'll have a place for your cargo net on your back seat. Now, let's say you want to add the Karaokin Revolution backrest. You're going to take your Karaokin Revolution grab rails. You're going to take your, your armrest, and you're going to take that original seat bolt. You're going to push it through and it's going to mount to the side of your seat. Well, here's the problem that I'm running into. These bolts, the original bolts, they're too perfect. They're actually too short. So if you're going to put just the grab rails on the seat, the bolt is perfect. It's no problem. If you wanted to add maybe the bungee assist to the grab rails, there's no problem. But the more items that you put on your grab rails, so if you're wanting to go with the Karaoke and Revolution backrest, now the space becomes thicker. You add the bungee assist, and now when you try to put that on the goal wing, now your bolts are too short. So when you try to screw that bolt back through, it's not going to get a good bite. Even if it grabs it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna hold. It's gonna come loose because the bolt is actually too short. So, this is how I took care of the problem and I found some bolts on Amazon. The size is M8 by 80 millimeter. The pitch is 1.25. So your pitch would be your threads, which is 1.25. The thickness of this boat is eight millimeters. And the length of this boat, of the original Honda OEM boat is 70 millimeters. So what I've done is I needed the bolts to be a little bit longer than the original bolts that come on the Honda Goldwing. So I'm gonna take one out the pack and just kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. And just show you the different lengths of bolts. Okay, the original Honda Goldwing seat bolt is only 70 millimeters long. The tapered bolts that you can pick up that are pointed at the end are 75 millimeters long and this boat is actually too short if you're going to be adding the additional accessories to your seat to the grab rail the perfect length that i came up with is about 80 millimeters and i find that the 80 millimeter boat is the best boat because it'll go all the way through the handrails the bungee assist and the chrome rails for the Karaoke and Revolution backrest. You can even get the bolts in a 90 millimeter. So it depends on what you're going to be adding to your seat will determine the length of the boat that you actually need. So if you're going to 
just install the original grab rails to your Honda Goldwing seat. The original bolts are fine. They are 70 millimeters. If you want to add the bungee assist and maybe make it easier to thread the holes, you can go with the tapered bolts like these show chrome bolts, or you can even get these at wing stuff. They are 75 millimeters. But for my issue, I had to go with even longer bolt, which is a 80 millimeters. I could also use the 90 millimeters if necessary. I'm going to install this onto the Honda Goldwing. I'm going to take the, the grab rail. I'm going to take my 80 millimeter bolt. I'm going to take a second 80 millimeter bolt. Bear with me. I'm doing this with one hand. I'm going to take my bungee assist. That way I can put the cargo net onto the back seat. And now I got the bungee assist. And now I can run the longer bolts through the seat to make it easier. I'm just going to use my drill just to get it started. I just use my drill just to get it started. This is a six millimeter, which is the same as the original seat bolt, still six millimeter, but the bolt is longer. One thing that I had to do that I'm not showing you is that I actually removed the seat and I took the original seat bolt and I threaded it all the way through the frame of the original threads because it appears that when Honda manufactured the bike, they didn't run bolts all the way through the threads. They just ran it just enough to get a bike and which works fine if you're running just the grab rails. So I removed the seat. I took the original bolt and I took some oil, put it on the threads and I just made sure that the threads are nice and threaded. I put the seat back on the Honda Goldwing and taking longer bolts, now I can install the Karaokin Revolution backrest to the Honda Goldwing with my bungee assist. So now I can take my, my T-handle and I'm just gonna tighten this by hand. Just tighten it down. Tighten it down like so. So now I have my bungee assist that I can add to put the cargo net on the back seat. And now the grab rail is nice and tight. So just for a demonstration, now I can put my, my revolution backrest, as you guys can see. And now I can install the Revolution backrest on my ultimate seat. I'm going to be doing a review and letting you guys know what I actually think about the ultimate seat. But I just want to show you that if you have the Revolution, you can still mount that on your ultimate seat. This is the original backrest that comes from the ultimate seat. So I can, I can run the original backrest or I can install my revolution backrest like so. So I now have that option. So I just wanted to show you that if you're working on your Honda Goldwing and you find that your original bolts are not really grabbing the threads like they should maybe they grab and they pop loose and maybe it's not really grabbing the threads you may need to extend the bolts see i will include in the description of the video a link 
to where you guys can pick up these boats that I'm using for my installation. So stay tuned. I'm going to be giving you guys a review of what I actually think about this ultimate seat. So if you guys like this video, be sure to click the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you a little bit later out here in the Caliente Garage. I'm a big dog, bitch.